Well, we have a foot massager here. It's a foot pleaser. We got this. We actually got two of these and a few more things. A resale store, a thrift store, was throwing a lot of this stuff out, trying to downsize and get some better product in. And actually, we'll see if this thing works. Well, it works. Power button doesn't work, so you can't get away from the foot pleasure. It's always going. Pretty strong. Pretty neat little thing. It's, it's got to have some gears in here doing this. So, yeah, enough of that. Let's take it apart. So, got the screws out of it. Yeah, we're going to get into it. Definitely got a gearbox here and a motor. It is a dong chain motor. So, let's see this looks like. Alright, so I kind of suspect this is actually a DC motor because I'm seeing some electronics in here, but let's see if it's true. Now, I think the knob has just actually slipped off of that power switch is what was wrong with it. Well, I'm seeing some diodes here and some resistors, so I'm guessing we've got at least four diodes, I'm sure that is rectifying okay here's our AC coming in to these two traces our AC is coming through this fuse to this it's going to two diodes this side is coming in going to two diodes and they're going out so we have a full way rectifier here and that's just an easy way to determine that you, you see those four diodes and this side of the AC is coming into two and you notice that they're opposite of each other and the same with this we're coming we're just going through a fuse here PC board mounted fuse over to these two diodes and they are opposite and I'll actually for those who doesn't know we'll go to the whiteboard and I'll show you a rectifier bridge on the whiteboard this is a DC motor we that's it's not marked DC or AC, at least not on this side, but now we know it's a DC. So let's go talk about that rectifier bridge a little bit. All right, so here you see, this is the rectifier bridge, is essentially what we've got there. And we're dealing with four separate diodes in that unit. You'll see these as a unit, a unitized structure and a lot of stuff, but in that particular one, we're dealing with four diodes individually. But it's the same thing. If you see the uh, unitized, Part, it's four diodes inside that and essentially you have your AC coming in to these two points and you have your DC out and what happens on the phase when this phase this side of the phase or the AC is negative it's going to come in go through this diode and out this diode is going to block it positive it's going to cut and while this one's negative this one's positive so it's going to come up and go out here this diode is going to block it and then when the phase switches it's going to go the opposite way this will be positive, it will come down through here, this will be negative, and it will go up through here, and the other diodes will block it. It's that simple. Uh, there's a lot of good videos out there on rectifiers that will teach you more about it. I'm not going to go too much in depth on in this video, but that's the basics behind the rectifier bridge. So if you see four diodes and they're in the configuration we've showed you in that particular unit, you'll know that everything past that is DC.